everybody and welcome to episode one of what we're calling the series Challenge of Vad, where people send me a message in Discord or via Instagram or wherever they want, and they set various ridiculous gaming challenges for me to attempt. And uh, the first one is a challenge from a very long time ago that was set that I never actually managed to complete. Uh, and that is to take a Ferrari P4 around the bridge to gantry circuit on the Nordschleife in VR. It's not going to go well. It's definitely not going to go well because I've never actually managed to get a single lap out of this car. So buckle up. <laughs> I've just punched my own horse <laughs> in the face. <laughs> oh, fuck off, bitch. Call you a dickhead and stop pinching my nips. Up, 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 yeet! Ah! Oh, fucking hell! How am I gonna get around a corner? Lift! Oh! Oh, shut up! Way! Fucking hell! Right, so here we are at the beginning of the circuit, sat in the pits, and I must say. It's a lovely model inside this car. It looks fucking fantastic. And obviously, I'm never going to get the chance to drive one of these in real life. So, driving it in VR is the closest I'm ever going to get. And it's just it's just great. You know, I it's an OG Rift that I use. I bought it secondhand really cheap and because I wanted to give VR a bit of a go and it's fucking fantastic. It's a brilliant experience and I absolutely love it. I do a load of flight sim stuff in VR, which is great fun, and I've done some American truck, and I've done, like, bits of everything, and I just can't get enough of it at the minute, and at some point, I will upgrade from the original Rift to something else, but at the moment, this is good enough for me. So, here we are in the P4, sat just next to the track in the pit lane, getting ready to have our first attempt at getting this car around the circuit. It's probably going to end badly. It always fucking does when I try something like this. The car is an absolute pig to handle. It's horrible, but it is somewhat of a bit of an icon. This is the one from the Ferrari pack that's a DLC for a Soto Corsa. And it's actually a really nice model. The textures are really nice. The seats look good. You know, I love the retro style racing gloves and everything like that. I think it just looks brilliant. So for people that don't know, the P4 for me is a bit of a bit of a special car, if you like. Um, my family or my brother was involved in building the former Mark IV P4 kit car uh, quite a few years ago now. If anyone wants to check that out, I will put a link to that in the video description. So people can go and have a look at that. It was a really cool car. It holds a little bit of history for me and a little bit of a special car. So that's kind of why I wanted to do this challenge. This challenge was originally set by one of my moderators, Viles, who set this challenge right back at the beginning of when I started doing stuff on Twitch. What I'm going to do, I'm going to get out onto the track, try and do a little bit of a, what people would call a sighting lap, I suppose, and then see where we end up. I might actually manage to get it around in one go, or in one piece. Both very unlikely. So the car is a Five-speed H pattern shifter. Um, I'm using a Logitech G920 wheel and shifter setup with the pedals, and it's all right. I know it's not the best wheel in the world, but for people like me that basically want to do VR and sim racing and VR anything on a bit of a budget, it it works pretty nicely. So our starting line is the bridge. There we're doing the tourist circuit. So it's bridged the gantry circuit, and we're going to have a rolling start. I say it's a sighting lap, but anyone who's watched my stuff before knows that actually what I do is just get fucking stuck right in. The Nordschleife I've done plenty of laps on. I don't think I've ever managed a clean lap in any car ever. So if we manage to get this car around cleanly, it will be incredible. That is an absolute pig of a corner, and I hate it. So... I'm not going for a speed lap. Just want to try and actually get the fucking car around. And if I manage that, I'll be happy. So we stick it in third. Break over the mound. Downshift. I 
the, honestly, the tyres in this car, obviously it's a well, 1960s racing car, you can really feel that they're actually not very good in comparison to what you'd be used to. Obviously, I don't think there's any uh, braking assist or anything like that, which makes things even worse. So if you stick your toe on the brake really hard, then you're just going to spin the car and that it really hates changing elevation. Oh, fuck, missed the gear there. Oh, shit, braking all over the place. Drop down second. And every time you absolutely give it the fucking berries in this car, oh, it just, the back end wants to step out. When you open it up, the sound it makes is absolutely fantastic. You just absolutely fucking go for it and listen to it. Oh, it's a real visceral sound that this car makes. I know it's not going to be like the most faithfully modelled engine sound, but my God, it's just absolutely incredible. Up in the fourth, foot flat down there. Don't fucking let go. Go for fifth. Oh, don't lift. If you lift, you're going to spin over the mound. A little bit of brakes over the crest. Dropping down to fourth. Quite heavy braking there for the corner that's coming. This is a kitty little corner, as I call it. I know uh, it's not officially what it's called, but most of the time I end up in the cat litter going around that one. If you plant your foot on the exit of that bend as well, this car just will run away from you. A little bit of a dip of the brakes as we're going, changing elevation, and it's horrid getting it down there. It skips all over the place. Not bad, pretty clean so far. I mean, oh, and I remember this. This is horrid, this. And there we go. Oh, and we've lost it. And we've lost it. Oh. I'll tell you what. We'll get it back. We'll stick it back on the track and we'll carry on the sighting lap. Or sighting lap, as I say. I absolutely hate that corner. I'm terrible at that corner. And once you lose it once in this car, it really doesn't want it. Doesn't want it. It, it just seems like once you lose it once, it's just ready to throw you off again. So let's we'll see if we can get some speed up. All right, a bit of brakes. A little bit of brakes. A little bit more coming in there. Down to fourth, down to third. There we go. Run it wide. A little bit too wide. Hit the grass. Heavy brakes coming in on that one. A little bit of a flick around that corner. Like I said, this car, when you uh, duck into a corner a little bit too quick, you, you can't... Mm do much to recover it if it's once it starts going it's gone you really cannot lose much you give this car an inch and it will take a mile i know my racing line isn't going to be fantastic i'm not a proper sim racer i'm sort of more doing it for fun than anything else oh there she goes again see what i mean as soon as it starts to go little bit of brake, little bit of counter steer, or a little bit of anything, and it's it's gone. Once it's gone, it's gone. It's like a special offer in Tesco, mate. Once she's gone, she's gone. All right, gently bring her up to speed again, because if you plant your foot trying to get her up to speed, she's out of there. Right, when we come down here, this is quite a tight one from memory. I don't know all the names of the corners, because, I, like I've said, I'm not a racing aficionado maybe one day i will learn them all I'm not a proper sim racer just a dickhead of a vr headset and a steering wheel all right over the crest down the dip you can hear that actually almost like a little bit of air there Whoa. one of these days i will get a clean lap time around this circuit Whoa, run it wide so it didn't run away from me in a modern sports car, a modern endurance racing car, you know, or a, anything like that, you can throw them in really hard and really fast into these corners and they they just grip. And I find that, you know, maybe it's something to do with my technique. Oh, a bit of grass. That you throw this car in a bit hard and a bit fast and she's just gone. She'll be gone before you can look at it. All right. 
Maybe down to four for the hill. Whoa, you can see she's weaving all over the shot. I've come in too hot there. Let's dab the brakes. There we go. Save that. Like I said, you can't really recover it once it's gone. If you hit those brakes really too hard, they will lock up and she'll fuck off into a barrier onto the grass. There we go. Oh, hard on the brakes there. Down to second. Get around. Now we're coming up on the carousel soon. And this car really isn't a fan of the carousel. There she is. Because it's so low to the ground. Oh, it just bobs and weaves all over the place. It's not got good suspension, this car. Tires are bad. Brakes lock up. It's a wonder they actually raced them, to be honest. I think people that raced in this era of race car were made of different stuff. A bit like rally drivers now, I think. Especially the old Group B rally drivers. When you look at some of those boys, they know how to race. You know, let's just get a little car and stick the biggest turbo on it we can find. Just an absolute different breed of racing driver. Oh, I've not very smooth through there there we go around around she goes I do love it though absolutely love this car like I said it's got a little bit of sentiment attached to it for me you know because of the former Mark IV kit car that my brother was involved in it's kind of a, a bit of a family heritage if you like um, there's not many of those kit cars left and if you do see one please let me know if you actually anybody sees one or has had a go in one or anything like that please let me know because i'd love to see some pictures i'd love to see some more modern videos and i will link a, a video that i've seen oh shit there she goes there we go luck cut out the time won't count never mind all right i think i might have bought the steering on that corner as well yep i have a little bit Oh, all right. We will have another attempt at this lap, I think. But yeah, anyway, if people want to send me a video or anything like that, if they've had any experiences with a with a P4, I'd love to know because, like I say, it's just a it's a marvelous car. Oh, not easy when you're trying to battle with some steering that is fucking bent now. Straight into the barrier, bent the steering. What a bloody fall. Right. Oh, fighting me around there. I have to compensate, and the steering's really, really heavy as well at low speed. Right, into the second carousel. Down she goes. Nice. That was almost tidy through there, considering. You can feel the car absolutely fighting with you every step of the way. But again, that's probably more me than the car. Whoa. There's just something about this car and the, something about all old sports cars, I think. There we go. What a fabulous car it is. What a fabulous car it is. There we go. Flat out along the long straight now. And we'll, uh, we'll slow it down. Slow it down. and That's a bit late. That's very fucking late, and that is, in true me style, thoroughly fucking obliterated. I think that puts it into possibly even doing lap two. That's fuck that job. Challenge failed. Well, definitely fuck that one. So I want to say thanks for setting the challenge to Vials. That was a great bit of fun, and maybe someday we'll revisit that one and have another go at actually getting the car around cleanly. Probably not going to happen anytime soon. Um, I had a great time doing it. Absolutely wicked. If anyone else wants to check out the car and send me a link to their laps where they can actually get the car around, then please do. Um, also, for anyone who wants to set me another challenge, you can either hit me up in the comments or you can send me a message on Discord if you're part of there or you can join me on a Twitch live stream. We do Wednesday, Friday and Saturdays. Um, link to my Twitch channel is in my link tree, which will be in the description. Um, all I can say is thanks a bunch. Cheers, guys.